bringing a new approach to treat a huge problem that affects nearly one billion people around the world. That's what John Dunlop's neuroscience development team at Amgen has just done. John, thanks for being here at the BioBus Center. Thanks for having me, it's so, great to be here. So tell us about this very recent approval of this brand new therapy for migraines. Yeah, I'm very excited to tell you about this new product that we call Imovic. Uh, we just recently launched this uh, only three weeks ago, so mm. it's a tremendously exciting time. It's the buzz of Amgen right now, actually, if we talk about the buzz of bio. It's the first medicine that was actually specifically designed for the prevention of migraines, mm -hmm. and it's also the first neuroscience product that Amgen will launch as a company. So it's been uh, tremendously exciting for my team. Uh, and the other thing I'd like to mention is it's actually a program and a molecule that was conceptualized by our own scientists in the lab. So it was internally discovered, developed, and now we're delivering it to patients. Yep, but as you well know, neurodegenerative disease, the whole field of neuroscience is an extremely tough code to crack. And yeah. we've actually seen recently, some life science companies are throwing up their hands and throwing in the towel and saying, we're going to leave this to others to do. Yeah. So why has Amgen decided this is a path we want to pursue and what else do you have going? That's a great question. I think one thing that really helps us is the recent launch of the drug that really establishes for the first time a neuroscience franchise and presence at Amgen. But I, I can tell you, I think the other thing that we're very committed to is the use of human genetics and human genetic insights that tell us about pathways and targets that might be relevant to disease. Uh, we do this in collaboration with our DECODE colleagues based in Iceland Reykjavik, which gives us an unprecedented access to both uh, knowledge of genes and how they contribute to disease. So we believe that we should be committed. Uh, and also there's obviously a huge unmet medical need in areas like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and ALS. So we really believe we should be pursuing these. For sure, and another area of need, besides those you just mentioned, and of course migraine headaches as well, is the scourge that we're experiencing regarding the opioid epidemic. Um, you have very early but encouraging research that's going on in that field. That's correct. We believe it's really critical to develop non-opioid targeted medications for the management of chronic pain, so non-addictive treatments. We believe these will be transformative and really we need these approaches to address the opioid crisis and ep ep epidemic that we're facing not only here in the United States but globally. All right, John Dunlop, the head of neuroscience development at Amgen, which is on its way with a first with a newly approved therapy for migraines. Thanks for joining us here at the BioBus Center. Thanks for having me.